Hey everyone, my name's Boone. In today's video, I'm gonna show you some basic techniques for data-driven animations inside of Adobe After Effects. Now the purpose of this technique is to be able to control your animations inside of your After Effects project via a simple text file. And the real beauty of that is that it will allow anyone to edit those animations, whether they have knowledge of how to use After Effects or not. So for this example, let's say that I'm creating a number of sales report animations to show at a recurring monthly meeting. To create these data-driven animations, I'll be using the Capital After Effects template. This is a premium template from Rocket Stock, which has a number of really beautiful infographic animations. They're already rigged up and beautifully animated. To connect the properties of these animations to data files, I'll be using the Mammal World JSON script. This is a free tool from AnyScripts.com and Mammal World, which I will link to in the video description. All right, let's get into After Effects and see what we can do. Okay, so I'm gonna break this process down into a few basic steps. Now the first one is to make sure you have all your elements ready and rigged up inside of Adobe After Effects. And again, I'm kind of skipping that process because I'm using this template from Rocket Stock. It's called Capital. It has some uh, beautiful animations already set up, rigged, animated, and ready to go. And I'm gonna be using this infographic here as an example. This is a really sweet infographic. I'm gonna open up the comp here and the beauty of this one is it already has the animation set up and ready to go. I can edit any of these elements here, these titles, the subtitles, um, the main text up here. And what's really cool is the data down here, these five data values. I can simply click on the number, change the number, and the graph will reflect the changes. So even if I wasn't doing data-driven animations, um, this is very, very easy to use. If you have a basic knowledge of After Effects, you can jump in here and make these changes. But the real purpose of this is to show you how you can connect it up so you have an entire team that'll be able to make edits to a simple text file, which will automatically update all of your After Effects assets without even opening up the After Effects project. Now if I go over to Scene Options and click on this controller layer, and open up effect controls. Here are all of my color options as well. So I can make a change to um, this orange here and you're gonna see that this value reflects it here. All right, so my template project is ready. I have all the assets that I wanna connect to a data file and I'm gonna connect these via that free script I was telling you about, Mammal World JSON. Now once you've downloaded and installed that, you can find it under the window menu all the way at the bottom under Mammal World JSON. And over here, it's really simple. It's just a connect button with an auto naming checkbox. So what this allows me to do is I can select a property here of my infographic and automatically connect it. And not only that, but it'll generate that JSON file. So one of the big problems with doing data-driven animations and what makes it such an advanced technique is that if you don't have an existing data file, you're gonna have to write that data file. And if you don't know how to write that, that's your first obstacle. Your second obstacle is then connecting that data information to the properties of your After Effects project, which is gonna take some pretty complex expressions. So this cuts through all of that. Now, what do we wanna connect here? First, let's look at what we've got going on here. So we have the values of each individual asset here. We have the names of the assets, and then we have the subtitles that are basically telling the viewer how the performance was. So I want my user to be able to edit the numbers of each value, as well as the subtitles of each element here, and the colors. So to connect our first element, I'm gonna open up this subtitle here, first item subtitle, and I'm gonna grab the source text property. You can see it's selected here, and now I'm gonna hit connect. This will bring up a script prompt, and it's asking me where should I store this in my JSON file. It's generating a JSON file. Now, if you know a little bit about JSONs, you can um, write it in a way where that it can make subcategories. But even if you don't know that, it's still quite easy to use. So all I'm gonna do is type in large tablet, and I'll call it performance. And I'm gonna hit okay. Now let's grab the value of large tablet. So down here I have value one, and I can grab source text, Hit connect, I'll type in large tablets value. And now last but not least, let's jump in and mess with the color. So I'm gonna go back to scene options, effect controls panel, and right here, color number four, I think is for that large tablets. Yes, it is, so I'm gonna cancel that. So what I wanna do is go down to my scene options, hit the E keyboard shortcut key, open up color four, grab the color property, hit connect, and call it large tablets color. 
So now I have all the elements of large tablets connected. I'm gonna be able to edit the subtitle here of the performance, the value, as well as the color of my graph. So if I go over to the project panel, I see a new JSON file here. I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna select Reveal in Explorer. Now it's created this JSON file uh, right next to my project files. I'm gonna open this up and you can edit this with any basic uh, text editor application. Now, if you want something a little more fancy that's color coded, you can find different applications that'll um, organize those JSON elements. But right here, I have my three attributes. I have large tablet performance, large tablets uh, value, large tablets color. Now, let me show you how we can modify this. It's really as simple as selecting what's in here. Uh, and let's say they had a very bad job for this month, very bad job. Or let's just, let's let's say loser. So then we bring the value way down. Let's say it's like uh, 10. And for color, we have the hex uh, code here. And I actually have Adobe Color set up here. And this is gonna allow us to take some of these values. Uh, I'm gonna copy a blue value here. Copy that. And I will paste that right here Okay, so now when I save this, I'm just gonna hit Control S. Watch this update when I navigate back to After Effects. So you can see now that these three elements have been changed via our JSON data file. Let me know your thoughts on the tutorial down in the comments section. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell.